Science Explains 19 Bizarre Natural Phenomenons. Number 19, columnar basalt. These one-of-a-kind formations are a product of lava flows that crack as they begin to cool perpendicularly from their original flow of direction. The columnar basalt masses can be located all throughout the entire world and make excellent climbing spots. Number 18, penitentes. These sharp fields of ice happen to be called penitentes, and each individual fragment can grow to be up to 13 feet high. These snowy structures are created in high altitude regions that require low humidity. For example, the glaciers in the Andes Mountains. If the optimal conditions are just right, the sun's rays are so hot that they can actually sublimate fields of snow, which means the ice will vaporize into thin air without first becoming a liquid. Number 17, light poles. This occurrence has come to be called light poles, and it can be viewed in the night sky above large cities only when temperatures reach negative 20 degrees Celsius. There also has to be a sufficient amount of microscopic ice crystals present in the atmosphere, and wind conditions must be normal and not too windy. Number 16, morning glory clouds. These types of clouds are considered to be highly rare. They can stretch out to a span of up to 1,000 kilometers long and happen at altitudes of up to two kilometers. Even though clouds that are alike in appearance are seen in various locations worldwide, the ones above Burketown, Queensland in Australia happen predictably every year during the spring season. Number 15, water spouts. Water spouts are just tornadoes that happen to form over water. Due to this, they aren't viewed as a major threat, except if you're unfortunately caught in one out at sea. Classified into three different categories, the life cycle of a water spout has five stages. One of the most famous cases of water spouts were the two twins that appeared in Sicily and paved their way through the coast and countryside before eventually dissipating back into the sea. Number 14, the Hesedin Lights. The Hesedin Lights are a light phenomenon that takes place in Hestelin Valley of Norway, and scientists have no explanation as to why this occurs. During the course of 1982 to 1984, they were closely studied for around 15 to 20 times per week. Ever since then, the activity has steadily declined, and they are now only studied 10 to 20 times a year. <laughs> Number 13, brinesicles. Everyone's heard of icicles, but have you heard of a brinesicle? They're created when the surface of the sea, located near the north and south poles, freezes in a way that lets cold, salty seawater gather underneath the ice. It's here that the dense mixture of brine sinks slowly down to the bottom. The fresh water then freezes around the brine because it's so cold, and that's how a brinesicle is made. Number 12, Earthquake Lights. Earthquake lights are a strange glowing phenomenon that occurs in the Earth's atmosphere. They're often found in areas where there is volcanic eruptions or high seismic activity. At first, they were initially thought to be only myths, that is, until they were finally photographed for the first time back in 1965 during the Matsushita earthquake in Japan. Seismologists all over the world finally recognized their existence. Caused by something that is still unknown, their colors can range from blues to whites and even multicolored. Number 11, ball lightning. Ball lightning is a mysterious atmospheric electrical event. The phrase refers to accounts of glowing, often spherical objects that vary from pea size to several meters and across in diameter. It's mostly correlated with thunderstorms, but lasts much longer than the split second flashes of lightning bolts that we're accustomed to. There have also been earlier reports of the balls exploding and sometimes leaving behind fatal consequences and the stench of sulfur. <laughs> Number 10, Snow Donuts. These shades made out of snow are considered to be very rare and only happen when there are just the right temperature conditions and the snow falls or is blown by the wind. When the fallen snow catches onto more snow and gravity aids it in rolling it downwards, what usually happens after is that the center of the ball will collapse and give it its donut-like appearance. Some snow donuts can even reach heights of up to 26 inches. Number 9, Fire Rainbows. This nickname might be a little misleading 
as it doesn't have anything to do with rainbows or fires whatsoever. Known as a circumhorizontal arc, this is actually a large halo of refracted light. They only happen when the sun reaches an angle of 58 degrees over the horizon, and there are cirrus clouds that contain small plate-shaped ice crystals. Number eight, lenticular clouds. These happen to be lens-shaped clouds that are non-moving and are sometimes multi-layered clouds that are created at high altitudes. Their formation is caused when the moist air in the sky is dictated to flow upwards near the mountaintops. Because of their shape, they've been viewed as an explanation for UFO sightings. Number seven, auroras. Auroras, or also known as polar lights, are captivating natural light displays that happen way up in the skies of high latitude areas. They are triggered when electrically charged particles that are from solar winds speed up beside the magnetic field lines into the upper part of the atmosphere. It's here that the particles collide with gas atoms, causing the atoms to reflect off light. What's considered as the auroral zone it is typically 10 to 20 degrees from the magnetic poles. Number six, sky punch. A fall streak hole, also called a punch hole cloud, is a huge elliptical or circular gap that can show up in cirrocumulus and altocumulus clouds. These holes are created when the water temperature located in the clouds is at below freezing levels. However, the water won't freeze because there is a lack of ice nucleation particles. When the ice crystals do happen to form, it sets off a chain reaction that causes the water droplets near the crystals to evaporate, thus leaving a large hole in the cloud. Number five, fire whirls. Also known as the fire devil and the fire tornado, fire whirls are considered as a rare natural phenomenon that transpires when a fire combines with the certain air conditions and currents required to create essentially a tornado of fire. Fire whirls are classified into three different types. They usually happen during bushfires. Number four, frost flowers. The formation of these frost flowers occurs when there is a substantial difference of 15 degrees Celsius in temperature between the ice and the air. This is what allows the frost to accumulate on the surface of the thin ice. Frost flowers are typically found in polar regions, but can also be sought out on the ice of lakes. Back in 2009, there was a biology team from the University of Washington, led by Professor Jody Deming, who were sailing back from the North Pole and discovered what she described as a meadow of these frost flowers surrounding the ice. Number three, supercells. A supercell is basically a thunderstorm that is characterized by a mesocyclone that is found inside it. What this means is there's a large vortex of air that is spinning rapidly in an updraft. Supercells are actually capable of producing tornadoes and aren't usually common, though they can be the most severe out of the four different classifications. Number two, volcanic lightning. This shocking photograph shows a lightning storm that's taking place during a volcanic eruption. Researchers aren't exactly 100% sure why this natural phenomenon takes place, but the foremost hypothesis is that when a volcano erupts, it emits positively charged debris up into the sky. The positive charges then intermingle with the negatively charged ones that are already present, thus resulting in the lightning. <laughs> Number one, bioluminescence. These eerie looking lights are produced by a chemical reaction known as bioluminescence, which occurs when tiny organisms that are found in the water become disturbed. In order to capture this photo, the photographer had to make sure that his camera was set to a very slow shutter speed and toss some stones into the water to cause the rippling effect that you see. 